Come on with me this morning and ride over to the 40 and uh, help us give this tiny house tour today. What do you say? Sound like a plan? All right, girl. All right, girl. Why you eat? You think about helping me with that tour today. Okay? Oh, goodness. What's happening, guys? We are in full-fledged moving mode. Look at the pod. This one is almost like 90-something percent full. We're getting really close. The house is pretty darn empty now. Uh, I think the only piece of furniture we got in the house is our podcasting disc, and that's it. You can see we're getting stuff moved around. We got the greenhouse that was in the backyard over here. Getting ready to get it moved over to the 40. A lot of things are happening. I would like to say that we will, we're just unable to answer emails and respond to comments and messages like we normally do because we are just wide open on getting everything moved and loaded and headed to the 40. A lot going on right now. <clears throat> Speaking of a lot going on, if you missed that last episode, we just got Brooke's mom's tiny house moved over to the 40. And as soon as I get through with these chores and the girls, they went and got, they were, oh, they're getting their hair cut this morning. As soon as we, I get through with these chores and they get back and we eat some breakfast, we're going to head over to the 40 and give you all a tour of Brooke's mom's new tiny house. All right, alarm system. Hey, Tucker. Whoa, something scared her. <laughs> I think it was Top over there snorting. All right, let's get this alarm system cut off real quick. I gotta go tell Nugget that we're gonna give a tour of the tiny house today. I don't know if he wants to go with us and give his two cents in or I don't know. Sheriff. What's up, Sheriff? Hey, Ruby. I have no idea these Muscovy's names. There's Rhonda, or vice versa. Come on, Quackers, look at that one flying in. All right, alarm system, have at it. Let's see what the sheriff's doing this morning. Taking care of my boots. <laughs> hey, Corny. Hello, Cleopatra. Y'all notice Cleopatra and Corny, they stay together pretty regular. Whoa, Nugget. Go and get you some this morning. Nugget, we're going to give, that's my hand. We're going to give a tour of the tiny house today. Well, pretty much as soon as I get through with these chores and we eat breakfast, we're going to ride over there. Yeah. You want to ride with us? I asked Peaches and she said that uh, she had some things she had to take care of this morning, but she may go with us. <laughs> Broken record time, but rain, 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 rain. We got three days straight, and I think they're predicting about six I guess we had three days straight, so we got about four days of it left. Alright, girls. Which is really, the rain has really, really put a damper on uh, doing outside stuff. Mainly, you know, I really would like to get that tiny house powered up and plumbed in. Animal cracker for you. Animal cracker for you. Tucker, you want animal cracker? Nope. Poopsie does, though. <laughs> Nugget, you want animal cracker this morning? There you go. What about you, Scott? You want that one? Yeah, Scott gonna give him one. 
Oh my gracious. Oh, hey Loki. Here y'all guys go. Y'all have animal cracker this morning. Y'all nugget is on the run this morning. I don't know where he went. He just took off. Where'd he go? Here he come. Here he come. Oh, he stopped. As soon as I get the camera out. Oh, here he come. All right, let's get these chores knocked out. show y'all the tiny house my intentions were oh, got a bump. my intentions were to have it wired so we got some electricity over there and some lights so it won't be so dark because it is pretty dark on the inside of it, it is. there's not that many windows there's three windows but it has rained pretty much non-stop as you guys know we've had rain since october of last year just about every day seems like well, it's like an 80% chance of rain for the next five, six days. And kind of like now or never. <laughs> yeah. So I got a little break. I'm not able to get the electricity because electricity and water don't mix. And so, big bump. Big bump. <laughs> so we're headed over there and we're going to give you our tour of the tiny house. And we're just going to run an extension cord from the power pole and get some light in there because I know you guys want to see it. All right, this it's is here. it. This is it. This is your mom's tiny house, which she is going to live in while we build her house and our house. That's right, we got it here and we left y'all hanging. We did so leave y'all hanging. We told um, you we'd come back and give you a tour. That's right. And it's been a wet, nasty week. And it's gonna continue to rain for gosh it showed like five to six days straight well, we uh, had plans we had plans to have the power on before yes. we did this video to show you what the inside would look like and we're getting close to the weekend and we hadn't been able to get the power in because there's uh been too much rain so. like i said earlier i don't want to be standing in no water hooking up a 200 amp service well we talked about it earlier <laughs> and we remember a commercial when we were little kids and it was something about Louie the lightning bug. Louie the lightning bug. Now us lightning bugs are experts, see, on safety and electricity. But anyway, <laughs> we're following Louie the li lightning bug's orders and we're not gonna be in water and electricity no. at the same time. That's so. right. Well, first of all, I was gonna say the dimensions are 12 wide yep. by 32 deep. Which is a pretty big, pretty big tiny house. It is. It's um. You know, we weren't looking at tiny houses. As I told y'all, I just happened to be checking messages and across my screen is Marketplace and then there's a tiny house and it just so happens to be in the same town that we needed it to be moved in. So it worked out. I mean, it was almost like it was just meant to be. It really does act like it was meant to be. When we saw it, we automatically knew that in the future, we hope that this will be our pond. Yes. And this is what we've been talking about. Um, we've talked to Piper's daddy, Ross, about coming in and building the pond. And then our site guy who's been here doing our pad for yep. our house. We've talked to him about building a pond. So why in the world did we face the tiny house towards the woods when our camper's over there? She'd much rather come out with her cup of coffee and sit outside and watch the nature and the birds and the deer and squirrels whatnot play in these woods than she would to look up this hill and see our camper and so, i think i would too yeah and you really can't tell it on camera you know like i said earlier in the video prior where that guy was coming down you couldn't it's a steep drop off from there to here i mean it is that's not that's steep and you really can't tell it there but if this thing was flipped around another way, she would see that bank. Yeah, you'd be looking, eye level would be the side of a bank. Yeah. 
and that's just not appealing so we don't know what the future plans are for the tiny house but when we placed it here we anticipated that this will one day be a pond hopefully we'll be moved in our house yep you know and settled in but if we decided to keep this then we could use it for the the little pond cabin uh, I was just, or? the cog cabin but we were thinking it would be cute if we did decide to keep it to look out over the pond and That's maybe right. build us a deck down here That's but, right i mean who knows what the future will hold but nonetheless she didn't want to look at the camper or the side of the right steep bank so we faced it this way and um it's just it's work what worked best that's right. And we've got all the supply lines, as you can see. We do have all the supply lines. Uh, the uh, septic tank uh, drain pipe is right over there where we got that flag. We put some metal over there. We got to take to the metal place. Because um, there was a trailer here before, and we tried to clean up best we could. Ignore our mess yes. because we have, we're in process of maintaining two places, and we're just dropping things where they land right now. Here's the water supply that went to the previous mobile home that was here. Right there. And so that's where the plumber will supply the water for the tiny house. And then... That's the electrical. That's the electrical. Yes. And so the electrician, Jason, will supply the electricity to this so we can flip a switch and have lights rather that's right. than this extension cord that you see running in. It's got a cute little porch. Now, I will say this before we go in. It is about 90% finished. It is. Um, it's um, not completely finished, but it's about 90% finished. It's livable. So, oh, it's definitely livable. And We're going to take y'all in, and you'll see our electricity that is run by an extension cord. First up, it will be is the kitchen area. So right when you walk in the tiny house, this is what you're going to see, this kitchen, which has got a full-size stove in it. It's got a full-size form sink. Um, down below, we're going to put a curtain across here, some fabric, to cover all that up. Butcher block countertops, and they went with this rustic, rusted metal. And you can see on the ceiling is this old barn wood. And it's already wired, as you can see. There are plugs here, there are plugs, plugs, there are switches. Um, there were blinds that were already in here. Yes. Um, and then he has like this is this light has not been installed right that's just um, the junction box that's just part yep. of the things that are needing to be done but i'm loving this sink that sink is huge it's very nice i'm thinking about robbing it for my house it is huge and it's a very nice movable faucet it is it is so nice i mean the the choices that she made were very similar to ones my mom and i would have made yes um, the cabinets are very nice, as you can yes, see. Yes, very nice cabinets. Uh, a lot of space. I mean, a lot of space. Look how big they are. It is a lot of space in here. A lot of space in here. There's another cabinet on this side that's the same size. So. And um, and you've decided. Yeah. Yeah, it's got it's two. A got two drawers. Two wow, huge I didn't drawers. even know that. Yeah. No, two huge drawers. And you've also decided that since it's a regular full-size stove and oven in here that you're probably going to cook in here a lot more than you will in the camper. Yeah, I asked mom, I said, how do you feel about me using your house to cook in? Because there's more space to turn around. There's more space to cook. I can keep my cooking supplies mm -hmm. in these large That's cabinets right. and just walk over from the camper to here and yep. cook. And hey, she'll let me use her tiny house to cook. I'll feed her. That's right. That's a deal, isn't it? That is a deal. So I'm going to move the light from here. As you can see, you can just a, point it that way. Well, I was going to show this little spot right here. Okay. This is where she had a little bar stool and she used it for eating purposes. And that's what I think mom will do as well. Um, we, we'll probably bring our picnic table and put it outside. Here. Yeah. So if I'm cooking here, we can just step outside. That's but right. It had this full size refrigerator. Well, I say full size. It's not completely full size. You can just set the light down. The camera is uh, good. It's brand new. Brand new. Brand new. I don't even think she ever even had anything in here. It doesn't look like it. It smells brand new. Look, there's the plastic stuff holding the shelves to yep. in. But a nice size refrigerator. Yes. Bigger than the one in the camper. Yes, bigger <laughs> than the one in the camper. Okay, so do you want me to take the light in here? No, because the light's really kind of... Okay. Here we go. Now, this is the living area right here, this which has got an air-conditioned unit and heater unit all built in one. And there's a lot of space in here. Uh, we're thinking about she's going to put her couch right here, probably a chair over here, 
And then there's a spot that they built up there for the TV to go. And it's got a attic area over there that you can store stuff in. And you I see haven't the been up there, but guess who has? Me, Carl. Me, hey, Carl. <laughs> she went up there and... She said there was a lot of room up there. Look, a ceiling fan even. Yeah, we got. she's got a nice ceiling fan that's remote control. And you can see the loft up there. Now, if we were living in this, we would probably use the loft as a bedroom. We would. But we're, your mom's not keen on climbing that ladder every day to go to sleep. No, she's not. So, <laughs> so she has another, <sighs> another place to sleep. And we will use this as storage yes. for both, both of our things that... So we don't have to get climate control storage. Yes. Your mom and dad are, are letting us store a lot of our things, electronics and such electronics as that. Electronics and clothes and a lot of our furniture is over at there. At their house, yes. at your mom and dad's house. Um, so that way we didn't have to get a climate control pod. We're yep. just using the pods. And then stuff that we think that we'll need, but we don't want to put in storage. Right. We put up here. And yes. It's a big area up there. It is a big area up there. I can just I can put the camera up there and probably look but at this. But this one is, I think, a lot bigger. On this side. That's the attic space up there, and this is. Now this ladder was uh, really just a temporary ladder. It is. And if you look up here, oh, it's got hardwood floor down here too. Does it really? Mm-hmm. This was finished. Okay, so yeah, I this is pretty much there. finished, except wow. that back wall. The back wall, and that's yep. part of our saying that it's not completely finished. There's a light up here, a light fixture. Really? Yep, there's the switch to it right here. Huh. Yeah, it is, this is where we would stay if we were living in it. And we you would... know what we talked about? What's that? What I was telling you earlier was, okay, so mom's gonna pay somebody to do her house. Right. It's only like 900 square foot, so it's not gonna be very costly to get right. it in the dry and then pay somebody to finish it. So that means she's gonna be in her house before we get in ours, Correct. right? Correct. All right, so we've got the camper sitting over here next yep. door. And if it's springtime and she's in her house and she's out of this, guess what we do? We're going to move in here. We're going to move in here while we finish our house and go ahead and sell the camper and uh, make that work out. But, I mean, who knows what that future will hold. But We don't know yet. <clears throat> that's just a thought. Is if, if hers is finished first and... And we can sell the camper, then we'll move in here and we'll sell the camper. But on to the, on to the living. Oh, there's the panel box. Yeah, it's the panel box, which I've taken off. I started studying the electrical and what all needed to be done. And so that's why that is off. And this is another example of not being completely finished out. It's yep. just, uh, we need to get a bundle of this wood and kind of strip it yes. to make it look like the rest of it. Yep. Um, I don't think you're going to be able to see back there. Uh... Yeah, we can. We're good. Isn't that better? Yeah. This is the um. This is the bathroom right I'm here. I call this the master bath. <laughs> the master bath. But you can see it's a full size toilet. It's a full size vanity, and it's a full size shower. What you can see, this has not been finished out. It's plumbed, but it's not been finished out. I'll have to come in and put some support on this because this is not um sturdy here. So I'll run me some two by fours and get that all finished out for her. Um, over here, that's our on-demand hot water heater right there. And so this, the bathroom is, I mean, this full size. I mean, this isn't no camper bathroom. I mean, no. she, she's gonna be, she's gonna be uh, good to go. Way more space than we got. Over here is her brand new stackable, or say this is a combo washer and dryer right here which we will be using ourselves and right here is the bed area where she'll sleep right here and it's a day bed and then it has the futon that goes out the trundle under, the tr trundle yeah say futon but this was this was a big big part of it because we as you know we were concerned about where we were going to wash clothes yes and we were considering putting it in the barn there's no power in the barn there's no water at the barn that would be a good undertaking to get those two things to the barn right in ample time so uh we have a brand new ge washer and dryer that's made into one space saving unit and we will get that plumbed in and this is where we'll do all of our clothes washing that's right that is and you can the other there's just this little strip in the back wall was not done that's right but this thing is uh i mean it's, it's livable the way it is and you can see the insulation is there it's yes well it insulated. was well insulated um 
and it was wired properly. It was, you know, the plumbing was done. That's a big undertaking that we don't have to worry we about. We don't have to worry about and don't have to worry about getting the fixtures in. Don't have to worry about getting the, the appliances in. The, the Just the utilities. This is huge. If it just stopped raining long enough, we could get this thing plumbed and That's powered. That's right. Um, when we moved it, when we hired the people to move it, Jason and I took eye bolts and we screwed them into the wall yeah. and we ratchet strapped the things that were potentially movable, such as the bed or the washer and the dryer or the refrigerator. And we strapped all that stuff together. So when it's going down the road, there's no, you know, chance that it's going to topple over. That's because right. Because it was all ratcheted and y'all see it's still here. It's so. still here. We had no issues at all. We did we that far in advance of the call to come move the tiny house. But, um, it has this, I guess you call this LVP. Um, plank. there is a uh, box up there. I can tell you exactly what it is. I Be saw careful, right here fall. traffic master laminated flooring. Laminated floor. So it's a durable floor. Yep. And here's another thing if most people use cell phones this day and time, however, my mom is kind of a wired phone person. <laughs> It's already telephone wired. That's right. So she'll just make a phone call to the telephone company and hook her corded phone up right here and she'll be back in business just the way she was at Cog Hill Farm. I know she'll enjoy that. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, it'll be no different than where she was. And true enough, I mean, it's it's pretty humid outside today. It's not that bad I mean, in here. It My hair is soaking wet from being outside, but it's comfortable in here. The air's not on. It is There's hot no outside. There's no electricity. And so. we're in here not sweating or anything. So I'm kind of shocked about that, to be honest with it's you. It's quite comfortable in here. And can you imagine if the fan was going, you wouldn't yeah, even need anything. You need anything. Or open the windows a little bit. But um, I'm very pleased at, at what, we, what we ended up with yeah. for... <laughs> A good price. A really good price. A really good price. And then the um, ability to have it moved in ample time. Yes, because it was it was fairly close to the 40. I mean, we're kind of, well, I mean, we're kind of bang, bang on closing on our house and not having somewhere for Mama to live. Right. And, you know, we were just going to buy a camper at, at the end. We were just going to buy a camper. That's and, right. Um and, oh. and you know, we all decided that, you know, if she had to, she could have lived in the camper. She could have, and but, she did not object to that. Right, but going up and down them stairs in that camper, we were we were scared that she may slip and fall. You know, she's she's, she's older than us. Right. I'll say that. It's, uh, it's better to walk out onto a porch yeah. than it is to walk directly out onto a set of stairs that goes like that. That's right. So, um... I think it was the best decision we could have possibly made. It's this was we got lucky on this. I'm gonna tell you, we got and, super lucky. And on I this. tell you, I really feel like in the end we'll end up keeping this place. I think so too. Well, um, I can see us using it for canning. I can see us using it for the Harbor Strike freeze drying. Yes. Um, we could do all that in here. I could even see. If the flower farm's going, we could come in here. This could be a little shop, and people could come in we and can buy things. That, or we can start, you know, doing our cuttings in here. We right. can, um, you know, it's hot outside. Uh, we're going to take them to the uh, nursery or to the farmer's right. market. We can come in here and make our stems. That's and, right. And bouquets in and here. take a shower once we got finished and That's wash right. all our towels that we got dirty. And I love it. I, I really do. I do, too. Um we could even use it to record a podcast in in the future. We sure could. Yeah. Listen to how quiet it it's is. It's super in quiet in here. There's no echo at all. Gidget's not here either, though. <laughs> oh, me old Gidget. <laughs> Gidget's not here, nor is Arlo. We just came over to shoot this quick video and yep. let y'all see the tiny house. That's right. A few dry days we'll have this livable. Uh, we'll also probably start working on, like, Scott's. Yeah, we need to start putting Scott's enclosure together. Nuggets, Nuggets uh, enclosure. enclosure together. So that kind of stuff. And then the paddocks will be 100% finished. Besides, we've bought 900 foot of picks yeah. for water. Water and, supply. And you don't want to dig a ditch for it to fill back up with rainwater. Right. So we need the rain to disappear so we can bury that pick so we yep. can supply the water to the animals. That's right. But, I mean, we've got lots of things to do and a little time to do it, but we're going to get it done. Hey, if we don't have power or water to this thing by the time we get ready to move, it's sufficient. I could rest in here and be happy. <laughs> right? We'll get her some solar panels. That's the, well, 
I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> Maybe your mom's going to go off grid. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, All right. let's get on to, to, to the next episode of Cog Hill 40 Move. That's right.